I've been working on building a new chicken house. This one's designed to be moved around the field. I think some people call them chicken tractors in some parts of the world. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at it at this stage, partly built, and then maybe I'll do another video when it's finished. I've based the whole thing on a frame or chassis, which is uh, down here, made from 50 millimeter square box section which I've welded and had galvanised. The hitch here is at quite a low level and I'm going to take advantage of this hitch adapter which I'd already made which I use for a dinghy launch trolley converting it to a 50 millimetre ball. So I'll connect that one on there, lift it up with a small tractor probably. At the back end of the frame Have these uh, strong steel pins sticking out the side. Uh, it doesn't have wheels of its own, but I'm going to have a lifting frame which is already made, and that's the white frame there behind that piece of mesh, which incidentally is the base of the chicken house. That will have wheels on it, so when it's lifted, it'll have wheels at the back, I'll be able to move it around and lower it down using the frame and take the wheels away. The uh, woodwork sits in these um, sockets which are welded in. It's basically uh, two by two tantalised wood. We've got uh, long ones here, the others are only 150 mils, they're half that length. The bottom of each of these sockets I've left a drain, as you can see there, and uh, the wood is actually standing up on a small block of tufnel so it doesn't sit in any puddle of water at the bottom. I've done everything I can to stop these posts rotting and uh, hopefully it'll last a good few years before it needs any kind of serious repair. It's important with a uh, galvanising tube like this that every section is drained. So you'll see holes here and there are holes here, you can't see them, there are holes internally so every piece connects to another piece. So those drain holes there had a sort of double function. Right, the uh, wooden structure is uh, still being made up as I go along house is this end of the whole device and it's roughly four feet square. The other end is open, obviously that's four feet square as well, the whole thing being based on a, an eight before sheet of mesh. The house will have double doors at this end so the back will open up completely for access for cleaning. These two runners on the side will support a piece of weld mesh and that will give uh, a base for the chickens to walk over and all their poo will fall through onto the plywood which will be covered in sawdust so it will help keep the birds clean. The roof trusses are all made from the same stuff, there are three of them they're identical, jointed the ends and uh, put in wooden dowels, oak dowels, uh, jointed the top in a similar way, mitered it and then fitted a loose tongue made from marine ply which is a lot less fuss than cutting a mortise and tenon joint. Uh, above the roof trusses we've got purlins, all from the standard 2x2 and I'll put uh, metal sheeting over the top for a roof. I can't get far enough away from it really for the camera but there'll be a door on here, well there is a door on here, it allows access for cleaning.
there'll be an opening there so the chickens can get out into a larger run when we decide to give them a bit more freedom. They'll have an automatic pop hole on the side of the house there and they'll have to come down a ramp which could be quite a shock for some of the bigger chickens. This area above the house is going to be uh, accessible with a little door at one end, maybe both ends. It'll just be a useful place to store corn or something. The chickens themselves will have a cube, basically. A piece of plywood for a roof. So the next time you see it, uh, hopefully it'll be deployed in the field and the sides will be clad with this wooden cladding which I've got recovered cedar which is very luxurious for a chicken house I think I'd better leave it at that thanks for watching